Today we are making our glove box. You're just going to need a clear tote that you can see through, one that's big enough for you to do any of your work in, whether you're doing grain to grain transfers or you're um, just inoculating agar uh, in petri dishes. So what we're doing right now is the first step. Um, we're going to put some armholes in here. Um, you're going to want to make sure that your dominant hand is higher, the armhole for your dominant hand is higher than the armhole that's not for your dominant hand. Um, so that you can get your arms around the whole area of the, of the um, glove box. As you can see, we have some dust flying in because the window's open. You're going to need some fresh air ventilation for what you're about to do. Um, we don't have that many tools right now, so what we're doing is we have this aluminum coffee pot that we're heating up on our stove, and we're going to take with our uh, with our oven mitt here, and we're just going to poke the holes through in the glove box for our arms. Make sure you have a face mask on when you do this, and make sure there's lots of ventilation. We actually had to open up our door, and we have the fan going. You do not want to breathe in combusting plastic. All right, guys, there's a glove box. Simple enough, right? Um, you could get a little bit more advanced and uh, put like one of those little PVC rings in there and you could put one of the stoppers in and like close it every time you're not using it and you can also attach your gloves to it. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our gloves whenever we use it. Um, we're gonna get some surgical sleeves, the Tyvek sleeves. Um, and we're gonna wear our face mask so that we don't breathe out any part particulates. Um, and we have Lysol, uh, every mycologist probably has Lysol. Um, every time we open this glove box, we're gonna spray it inside with Lysol, we're gonna spray our room with Lysol. And we also always have this uh, ionizer running uh, HEPA air filter in this room. So the air in here is a little bit more pure. Um, you can see in the back we have hydrogen peroxide, which we will be using whenever we clone uh, outdoor species. And then we just have some alcohol, which we use to keep everything sanitary. Um, if you guys stay tuned, we're going to be putting up a video on how to make your own um, <clears throat> alcohol lamp. Uh, so we're going to be doing that and using that to get a little bit more sterility. Um, if you have any questions, as always, throw that down. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share on Facebook and Twitter. Other than that, you've tuned into the Myco Symbio, and we've just made a glove box.